I'd like to talk to you about high stakes conversations. You know the dread you feel before a really difficult or tough conversation with a person who's really important to you, where there's a lot at stake. For instance, it might be boss to employee, employee to boss, uh, team members where you're colleagues and you have to continue working with the person might be a teacher to a parent, a parent to a teacher, a doctor to a patient, might be family members, might be a neighbor, might be an angry customer, anything where the person matters and there's a lot at stake. So anxiety tends to stem from a perception of a threat or possibility of loss. So for instance, it might be a personal issue to talk about. It might be a hot topic like religion, politics, money, sex, all that good stuff. Uh, the person might be volatile or unpredictable. Uh, you might be intimidated. Maybe you expect criticism or judgment. All of these things are going to make the conversation difficult or hot. The issue might be a disagreement about something specific. Uh, or it could be harder, like your values are really quite different, or your perceptions and opinions are very different. Uh, maybe it's a specific situation, or maybe it's a difference, something that really can't change, but you have to learn how to live with it over time. Maybe there's been damage to a relationship. Maybe you're afraid the person won't want to deal with you, or they're going to blame you, or they're going to defend themselves against you. So. If any of these things sound familiar, how do you proceed in a good way? So first of all, I'm going to assume that you're talking to a rational person who is willing to deal with you. If you're talking with, the, if you need to talk to a high conflict person, that's a different deal. And that's a subject for another day. So we're talking about somebody who's rational and willing to engage. So begin with the end in mind. Uh, the specific outcome that you seek and why does it matter to you and maybe why does it matter to the other person as well. Um, you need to take the time to really understand the concerns and the issues and the position of the other person and the good news then is that then they're more likely to be willing to listen to you and understand you. Now it's really important that you're honest with yourself so that is to say if you really have an agenda to win or be right, that's different than deciding to resolve an issue and preserve a relationship. If you have an agenda to win, that's going to communicate in a nonverbal way and you won't be as trustworthy or as credible. It's also really important to solve the right problem and sometimes it can be quite difficult to figure that out because people don't always tell you. Sometimes they're harboring a resentment or some belief about you that you're not aware of and it's going to contaminate or color the conversation. So be sure that you talk to the right person. Don't talk to another person but talk directly to the person that you have the issue with. So now let's assume you're going to talk. If you've gone through all that and you've decided to talk, uh, first of all, clarify your objective. If you don't know what you mean and what you want to have happen and what you really want the other person to understand, it's not going to work. So be sure that you're clear yourself before you start and only talk about one thing at a time. So it's really important for you to be self-aware. What do you really feel and what do you really think? Because those feelings and emotions can really leak out in a nonverbal way. And then it may be imperceptible, but they will pick it up and you will not be as credible. We we'll kind of call that leaking. And so it's really important for you to be clean before you try to have a really hard conversation where there's a lot at stake. So start with a positive attitude, manage yourself physically uh, and emotionally, you know, breathe, stay calm, decide ahead of time not to react, and then stay in the present. Don't be ruminating about the past. Don't be making assumptions and projecting into the future. Stay right in the moment, in the present. And then uh, clarify your message and articulate uh, very clearly and anticipate how that's going to impact the other person. Um, 
just because you think you've been clear doesn't mean the other person received it the way you intended. So really anticipate what it's going to be like to receive your message. And if things get a little wobbly, restate your constructive and positive intention to kind of bring things back to the center. Uh, ask the other person what meaning they understood and be sure that you're actively listening to understand their meaning uh, and show them that respect. And then hopefully you can find some areas of common uh, interest and mutual benefit. And when you do that, be sure that you're clear about what you expect and be sure you understand what the other person's expecting about what might happen next. A caveat is that there's no guarantee because it takes two to have a conversation, two to have a relationship, and all you can do is all you can do. You can't control another person, as you well know. So do no harm by speaking for yourself, showing respect, keeping your side of the street clean, and at a minimum, you'll have a clear conscience. And if you've done things in a fair, respectful way, your chances of maybe resolving things in the future are that are exponentially better. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. Please visit toughtalkcoach.com. Sign up for eTalk monthly newsletter. And please send me your questions. Thank you so much.